Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this classy pineapple in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start. We begin with an artboard that's 1920 by 1080 pixels and we're going to press M to start creating our shape. We're going to click once, this is a rectangle tool, and make a rectangle that's 35 by 35 points. Press OK. Good. Zoom to your rectangle, rotate it by about 45 degrees and we're just holding shift as I rotate and then press A, your direct select key, click on this anchor point, and drag it out until you make this kind of kite-like shake shape. That kind of looks like that, okay? That looks good. Now select this, hold Alt, and just move it out into the corner. We're just gonna duplicate that over there. Then we're gonna select our shape right here, hold Alt and Shift, and move it till it's about, mm, yay. So, and then press Control D, wait for you to select it. And this is just going to duplicate it until you have about 10 of them or something like that. Select all of them, hold Alt and Shift until they intersect right here. And then hold Shift until they intersect into the middle. It should be somewhere right around there. It's not so important. Then we're going to select all of them like this. Hold Alt and Shift again until they intersect. And then repeat that by pressing Control D and Control D until you have about eight lines worth. Okay, we're gonna select all this, go into our symbols panel right here, and click and drag it into there like that. That's gonna be called New Symbol 2. Press OK. Good. Now we're gonna use the ellipse tool. We're gonna to press L, click, and make an ellipse that's 330 by 450 pixels, and press OK. Good, you'll get the shape like this. Now we're going to reverse that stroke and we're going to press A and select this anchor point right here and delete it. Okay? So now we have this shape like this. I can close that. And I want you to select it and make sure that the stroke is actually white. Like that. And press OK. So now we have our white stroke. You can't see anything. I'm just going to make this a tiny bit bigger by holding Shift. Okay? Then select your object. Go to Effect. 3D and revolve. And it's gonna make an egg shape like that, which is perfect. We're gonna switch this to no shading like that. And then we're gonna to go to map art. You're gonna see this shape right here. And we're gonna to switch to the second surface, this one right here. Then click on your symbol and go down to the symbol that you made. This is the new symbol two, like that, okay? If it doesn't appear when you do this, we can just press clear and just go to your first surface and then apply to that surface like that. So I'm gonna go here and there you go. Then press scale to fit. This is gonna stretch around your entire shape and that looks good. Press okay and then press okay. Cool, so now it works like that. Now using this shape over here, I'm gonna hold alt, I'm just gonna move it over here and I'm gonna rotate it so it's pointing towards the left. Then I'm gonna press A and I'm gonna stretch it out till we have kind of like a long shape like this. Okay, something like that. It looks okay for me. Maybe a tiny bit more. All right, then select it. Move it roughly to this point right here. We can right click, arrange it to the front like that in case it's behind the right line. Then we're gonna rotate it by pressing R till it's kind of pointed that way. And then we're gonna repeat it by holding Alt, moving it up to here and rotating it by pressing R a bit upwards, vertical, a bit over it's like this, and then hold Alt and Shift, and then R until it's even more vertical like that. And we're gonna move it to roughly there, okay? Then we're gonna select the shape. We're gonna to go to Effect, Warp, and Arc. Okay, we're gonna create kind of a hefty arc like that. 31%, I think that's okay. Um, we can make a bit more distortion, that's just gonna curve it. And these are our leaves right here. And something like that. Okay, press okay. We're gonna do the same with these shapes right here. We're gonna select this right here. We're gonna do effect, we're gonna go arc. And it's gonna arc like that. We're gonna arc it a bit less, so it's bent kind of like that and press okay. And we're gonna do the same up here, go to effect, arc and this one we're gonna do even a tiny 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 bit just so it slightly bends like that and press okay 
Cool. Now we're going to select all three of these shapes like this. Go to Object, Expand Appearance, so they become their shapes like that. Select the three objects right here. Go to Object, Transform, and Reflect. And we're going to reflect them on the vertical axis. Make sure you press Copy. Okay. Then select your objects, hold Shift, and move it to you have right there. And that's kind of the top of your pineapple that you see like that. You can select it and kind of move it in like that. So it's a bit more narrow and it goes down to this point like that. Okay. Now I'm going to make this a tiny bit bigger, like so. So it kind of covers a lot, some of these points that we see up, up here. And now we're just going to clean up the shape that we see down here. Okay. So to do that, it's pretty simple. Click on your shape right here, go to object, expand appearance. And now you're going to have to ungroup multiple times. We're going to click right here and go ungroup, ungroup. And then we're going to select it again like that. Release the clipping mask and one final right click ungroup. Now to make this a bit cleaner, we're going to get rid of some of these little lines that go right on the edge like that. Oh, that one we didn't click on that. That will delete all those if that happens. And we're going to get rid of some of these little points that are sticking out. This is just a cleanup to make it look a bit nicer. Just delete, delete. And we don't want any of these kind of narrow lines that we see sticking out right there. So it's kind of flat, but not crazy flat. Okay, so we have something like that. And that's basically it. You've done it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll play around with your arcs. You're going to create a different effect with every single one of these little things. Move it out a tiny bit like that. So it spreads, it covers more of the base. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. You can play with it as you wish. And if you just do it like this, it overlaps. So then you get a nice clean shape like that. We can select it all and hold shift and bring it right to the middle like that. But that's all it takes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, write them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please let us know. Hit the like button, subscribe, and of course, as always, have a great day.